Okay, so this video was actually created over the course of two different days because day one when it snowed, it was so cold that I couldn't fly the drone. So, whoosh, I'm back here with my friend Rush. What's up? And he's gonna help me get some awesome B-roll for the running shots that I needed to cut in with the running hacks that I'm about to share with you guys. So, let's go. Let's do it. Okay, so the last video that I did five running hacks that will change your life did kind of okay. So here's five more running hacks. It'll just make your runs a little bit more enjoyable and a little bit easier. So let's talk for just a second about shoes. Last time I talked a little bit about running form and how your shoes can give you a good indication of whether or not you're landing on the right spot on your foot. So I brought an old pair of shoes to kind of uh, demonstrate this. You can see, especially on this one, where they're worn down. Not so much on the heel. So running hack number one is to use your own shoes to do kind of a checkup on your running form. There's a story that's told here. This can also help you identify injuries that you have or that are coming. You can see just the difference between these shoes. I've got some sort of discrepancy. You can see there's a lot more lateral wear on this shoe than there is on this one. Does that mean that I'm gonna get injured? Not necessarily, but it does mean that I probably have a stride discrepancy. So hack number one is use your shoes to kind of help you understand whether or not you're running properly. Running hack number two. So this one is about lacing your shoes. At the end of the day, probably the most efficient way to run is barefoot. Running barefoot would be painful. You'd have stuff going through your feet all the time, so you don't want to run barefoot. And let's face it, those five-fingered toe shoes, ha! They're, they're probably not good for you either, unless you work your way up to a point where you can wear them. The idea behind them is right. You want to run as naturally as possible, and the most natural way to run is barefoot. So the next best thing is to lace your shoes in a way that allows your feet to expand when they come in contact with the ground. So the first thing that you can do is to skip the first two laces when you're lacing your shoes so that you have this big open spot, and it keeps your shoe from being wrapped too tightly around your foot which really what that does is it, it crunches your foot up and doesn't allow it to expand so much so when you skip these top laces you can still tighten your laces but it allows the actual part of your foot that needs to expand it allows that expansion to happen hack number three also has to do with the way you lace your shoes so most people lace their shoes just like this okay i'm going to top talk about the top of this lace so when you start to tighten this up, you can see that this, you know, it pulls your shoe tighter, but it puts a bunch of pressure right here, kind of over this tendon that comes down. It's not very good for you, I don't think, especially if you're running a lot of miles. Really what you're doing is only tightening this little bridge on your laces. So the hack around that is to create these little loops on the sides of your shoes. So what you want to do is you want to unlace the top lace. So instead of using this lace and coming over and into this other hole, I'm going to take this shoelace and just go back through on this next hole right here. Same thing with this lace. And then you cross the laces onto the other side. So this lace comes over here and in through this little loop that I just created. Same thing with this lace. And now when you cinch up your shoes, this little loop is what's pulled. So it pulls this entire portion of your shoe over and it alleviates the pressure on this little bridge right here. Way better for your feet. And when you do it with this unlaced portion, it allows you to tighten your shoes onto your feet in a way that doesn't crunch your foot up so that it can't expand properly every time your foot makes contact with the ground. Uh...
Gear hack number four is to get yourself some awesome running gloves. So these are um, some Nike running gloves. And really the main thing that makes these really, really cool is the fact that they've got this little pocket for a key or your key fob. So you don't actually have to hold your keys. You can just store it in there. I love these things. They're not super thick. They don't have to be because once you start running and your blood gets pumping, you're not going to need a whole lot of protection on your hands. So I'm going to go out, do a couple miles. All right, so my battery's dying. If you like the episode, subscribe, comment on this, give it a thumbs up, and we will see you guys next time.